Hello and welcome. What is going on? You made me wear this stupid thing. Oh, you idiots you are. Hello, it's me, Philistine Phil. Well, you can't see me, I am here. And uh, we're reviewing some uh, gin. And it's this gin here, which is from Marks and Spencer's, and it's £20 a bottle. And uh, it's more liqueur than gin. But what's good about it, I suppose, is, is this what you want me to do? Really? But I didn't want to wear this shirt. I mean, come on. It's bloody September. <sighs> Hang on, where are we going? There we go. Look at that. It lights up. It's a light up gold filled gin liqueur. Actually, I quite like this now because at least they can't see what I'm wearing. So, oh my God, say, what do you do that for? Anyway, um, yeah, it's it's got a light in it and stuff. There you go. It's a clementine flavored gin liqueur with edible gold leaf. Uh, it's gin, demineralized water, sugar, lemon juice from concentrate, clementine, flavoring, color, uh, why have color in it? I don't know. Is that the gold? E175 must be. So this is edible gold. It's gold that you can edible, apparently. Um, it's got a nice little thing on it as well. It's from m and say 20 quid uh, from 2021. You can buy it as a gift for someone, but I buy it early because this gold gin goes out quick, which is why apparently we're reviewing it in September. The men wear the stupid, stupid, stupid um, thing. So there you go. So what does it taste like? Well, I shall tell you when I open it. There you go. I've never had uh, liquid gold before. Well, not liquid gold. Um, gold. I've never eaten gold or drunk gold before. This is going to be new to me. Now, it's only liqueur, so it's not as strong as normal gin. So I'll give it a bit more. I didn't do the etiquette then, did I? Which I should have done, because it's posh gin, this. Posh gin liqueur. It's 20% uh, volume. So it's not overly um, volume -tistic. Bit of gold in there. So we'll go. You know who? Get the etiquette back. Pour it in. Imagine when you get to the bottom of it, you see the gold floating around. I'm not sure about this. I don't like orange when it's got bits of orange in it either, to be fair. Oh, I'll be honest, all the gold's gone to the bottom. And all I can taste... Actually, lemon's coming through. I can taste the lemon now. No, no, you cannot. Sorry, someone wants to collect my uh, waste in the morning. Don't you too much Aussie gold hunters, I believe. So, was it worth a year's wait for? Have to do that to get it going. And that. You can't see it now properly, can you? Because it's, uh, it's too light in here. Um, how the hell do you do that? Anyway, look at that. Oh, that's cool. So I'm going to give it, it's like Halloween now, isn't it? I'm going to give it three stars. No, I'll give it four stars, actually, because it's cool. The bottle's cool. So four stars out of five for the gold-flavoured lemon gin liqueur. Until next time, goodbye.